Hey guys, I am finally back because I have to talk to you guys about this awesome, really awesome week and I had. I got to see a couple of my favorite TV peoples. Starting with Friday, my friend came in from Tennessee and I was supposed to go show her around New York and get food and stuff and later we had decided to go see the new Zach Braff movie, Wish I Was Here. Turns out that uh, Zach Braff was doing a signing at Urban Outfitters at the same time we had planned to see his new movie. So naturally we decided to drop that, push it to a later time and go see Zach Braff. So we went to the Urban Outfitters, we waited, we bought our records so he could sign them and we met a whole bunch of cool Scrubs fans and Garden States fans and we talked to some people and it was just a lot of fun and for her I think it was a really cool ex first time experience in New York City like the first day you're in there you're meeting a celebrity not only just any celebrity one of your favorite people to meet one of my f absolute favorite people that I've always wanted to meet since I'm a huge Scrubs fan it is my favorite show I have all the DVDs up behind me so yeah we got to go meet him he signed our records we didn't get much time to talk which is a bummer because I'd love to ask him questions and thank him for doing all the things that he's done but I he's one of my idols I was super excited about meeting Zach Braff and I actually met him that was just the first half of my Friday the second half we went to see Zach Braff's movie which was super emotional and fantastic and the, the was light-hearted at points and it was really dark and deep at points and I, I honestly loved it. I'm a fan of Garden State and it was sort of in that tone but it was a lot funnier and it was a lot lighter and I think it was a lot more mature and I think he's coming to his own as a writer, director, actor, producer, music supervisor because that soundtrack was also super amazing. The next day I was going to Brooklyn to see St. Vincent yet again only three weeks after seeing her on Letterman. But, you know, I'm a huge fan of her, too, so I got to see her at Prospect Park because they do a free summer thing, free summer concert thing in uh, Prospect Park to celebrate Brooklyn, to celebrate the history and life of Brooklyn. I got to go with a bunch of friends and it was really, really awesome. I mean, I really wish there was I could do that kind of stuff every week, but it'd be pretty hard and it's somewhat costly to do that kind of stuff every week. But I, I had a blast and I, I really urge anybody that could have a weekend so packed full and just try to embrace any opportunities that you have going on in your area to just take them and have fun take a couple friends if you can and just try to enjoy things for what they are I mean New York is pretty easy to find things to do like that it just pretty much go and you pretty much point on a place and walk towards it and you'll find something interesting so Sunday Monday I decided to take a break because I was done I was so tired and overwhelmed and just it had been an emotional week, emotional weekend. There's just highs and lows and so, oh my god, I can't even begin to describe my experiences this weekend. And then Tuesday came and it just so happens that Gillian Jacobs from who plays Britta on Community was doing a sort of a uh, meet and greet thing with the Laughing Cow, which are the guys that make the cheese, delicious little cheese wedges and stuff. She was, work she was working with them and she had sent out a tweet that if anybody wanted to come meet her, we could. So me and my friend went to Times Square and we met Gillian Jacobs and she was super cool. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. She was just like really nice and we talked to her like normal people would talk to each other. I know with some celebrities it's a little weird to talk to. They don't, they're not, they're sort of not there all the time and, or they don't want to be there. But she seemed genuinely excited to be there. So that was really comforting for me and my friend and I'm sure we did, we made her job a little bit easier and we even got to do this little video with her that they recorded which I will link to when it goes up if it goes up and it was sort of a little, she interviewed us about laughing cow cheese and how we were enjoying our day and stuff like that. So I had a really super exciting weekend and I'd, I don't mean to just like blab about it and I hope this was somewhat interesting to you but I just really wanted to talk about it. So this happened after finding out that Robin Williams passed from uh, something terrible and I, I didn't think I was going to talk about it in this vlog but I feel like I should because he was important to me and he was important to so so many people countless people and it this week has just been really emotional and for, for so many reasons for so many reasons and that sort of got to me and I was really 
messed up that evening and the next morning and I sort of just went out and did what I could because that's what that's what you have to do. You just have to keep you have to keep going and you have to respect people for who they are and what they were and respect what they did for other people because I don't know Robin Williams is an idol of mine. I've loved him since I could remember. Miss Doubtfire, Genie at Fern Gully, he's in a number of my favorite movies and I just wanted to pay my respects and I, I really felt for him. So my week, that has been my emotional week. Thank you if you're watching. I should be doing more videos soon so I'm trying not to fall off the wagon again. Hopefully I don't get too busy and I don't think I will because I, I really do like making these. So hopefully I'll have more to talk to you guys about soon, Doctor Who stuff coming. So I'm definitely going to be chatting Doctor Who. So subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment, like, follow me on Twitter, at Joey Pedras. Do whatever you want to do. Let's have fun. Don't forget to have fun. All right. See you guys later.